Hey everyone, it's Derek with OPTP. Today in our Feel Good Holiday Gift Series, we're gonna be focusing on the feet. Now, when you think about it, the feet obviously are at the foundation of everything that we do when standing, yet many of us neglect to train the feet at all. So today we're gonna be taking five different movements out of the Happy Feet book by Eric Franklin, and we're gonna be using the emerald green Franklin textured balls to create some wonderful release of the tissues in the feet and also create some strength and balance as well. Let's get started. Okay, so just a couple quick pointers before we get started here. First, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're doing these movements without any socks or shoes on. When you have a barrier between your foot and the ball, it's gonna minimize the amount of proprioceptive input that you're getting into your body. So bare feet is always best. Two, make sure you move throughout all these exercises nice and slow. Three, make sure you're breathing nice and calmly. Four, if you do have any acute injuries that you're rolling over, make sure you avoid doing that altogether. And five, after you've done an exercise, make sure you pause for a few seconds to intuitively recognize the difference you feel on one side of the body versus the other. Okay, we're gonna start here with some foot swipe drills. And what we're gonna be doing in order to engage in this exercise is putting one of the Franklin Texture Balls here on the floor. Now, the first foot swipe I'm gonna do here is with my heel on the ground. So I'm gonna position my heel on the ground and then get uh, the ball right underneath kind of where the sole of my foot might be. And for some of you, you might even be more comfortable to start towards the balls, the toes. But either way, from here with the heel on the ground, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of engage in this inversion and eversion drill where we kind of roll out to one side of the foot and then back in. Now it's important to maintain that contact between your heel and the floor the entire time. This is a great exercise to kind of move and lubricate the subtalar joint as well as joints in the midfoot and forefoot. So great movement here, really gonna turn on all those proprioceptive mechanisms along the bottom of the foot here as well. As you can tell, I'm really moving through the ankle here and this is just a great exercise. So both sides that we wanna do here and we wanna do about 10 to 12 repetitions in each direction on each foot. Okay, exercise number two is called the foot rolling massage. It's very simple. All we do is we start with a textured ball up towards the front of the foot. So underneath maybe the toes or even the balls of the toes here. We're gonna shift our center of mass forward to apply some pressure down into the ball and then we're just gonna roll all the way back towards the heel. And then we will come forward and then just repeat slow and controlled as we're breathing back and forth. Now this is a great exercise to do as a warm up to kind of turn on all those proprioceptive mechanisms along the bottoms of the feet. You'll be amazed how much more you can just sense your body's position when standing after doing this exercise. It's also great to kind of lubricate all those little joints along the bottom of the foot as well. You wanna do this for about 20 to 30 seconds on each foot and then move on to the next exercise. All right, so the third exercise is really gonna focus on creating some strength in that foot ankle complex. This is called point and flex. All we do is we get one of the textured balls here, position it underneath the sole of the foot. Now from here, all we're gonna do is engage in some plantar and dorsiflexion. So to start, I'm gonna drive the toes down towards the earth until they touch, moving into plantar flexion. And then while still applying pressure down into that ball, I'm gonna go backward, letting the heel drop, moving into some dorsiflexion and then just moving back and forth, nice and slow and controlled, really feeling the pressure of that ball driving into the foot as I'm kind of moving methodically here. Now again, this is a great exercise to create strength not only in the plantar and dorsiflexors, but also in the foot itself. It's also a great way to create a nice little release effect. So what you wanna do is move through the plantar and dorsiflexion back and forth 10 times on the right foot, 10 times on the left, and then move on. Okay, so for the fourth exercise, we're really gonna focus on the strength aspect of the foot ankle complex. So all we do, this is called the ball grab. And whether or not you can physically pick the ball up off the ground with the foot, or you just kind of flex the foot and toes to grasp that ball, that's the idea. Five to 10 times, all we're doing here is positioning that uh, ball, the textured ball, underneath the toes or the balls of the toes, wherever enables you to get a good grip and flex and try to grasp that ball. And if you can lift it up off the ground, great. If not, reset and repeat. This is a great exercise for creating strength in the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of the foot, the toe flexors, and in the plantar flexors of the ankle. So again, maybe five to 10 times per side, and then move on. 
All right, so, so far we've created some strength across the foot angle complex. We've done some great mobility slash release techniques. For this fifth and final exercise, we're gonna work on balance. And this is called the double ball stand. All we're gonna do is take both of our textured balls and put them next to each other and position one foot over those balls evenly and then attempt to come up onto a single leg balance. Now, these Franklin textured balls, obviously they feel wonderful for these release techniques, but they're inflated just enough to provide a wonderful balance challenge as well. So this exercise is great for creating balance and stability across the foot ankle and just building general proprioception and body awareness. So try to hold the exercise initially for maybe five to 10 seconds and you can work your way up to 15, 20 seconds. But again, fun exercise that has a wealth of benefits. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about the Happy Feet book or Franklin Texture Balls, just go to optp.com. We've only really scratched the surface today of all the exercises and techniques that are in this book. And if you're looking for a great gift for a friend or a family member or a patient or a client or even for yourself, this is sold as a set. So again, head over to optp.com to check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.